the genetics of viruses. In this module, I will discuss about the life cycle of bacteriophages. Bacteriophage viruses that infect bacteria are called bacteriophages. Greek to eat bacteria that is bacteriophage. Now bacteriophages are of two types. One is virulent, another is temperate. Virulent fudge such as fudge tifu. On the other hand, temperate fudge is lambda fudge. These two fudges in fact colon bacillus E. coli and these two viruses play an important role in the elucidation of genetic concepts. So the study of viral genetics is very important. Types of fudges. One is lytic fudge that is bacteriophage T4. It is a large virulent fudge that uses the metabolic machinery of host cell to produce progeny viruses and kills the host cells. Its DNA is double standard. On the other hand, the temperate fudge that is bacteriophage lambda, it is also a coliphage that is it also infects E. coli which either kill the host cell or it can enter into a special association with the host. Its DNA is also double standard. Life cycle of bacteriophage T4. In this figure, the life cycle of this T4 is shown. The T4 bacteriophage, when it infects a host cell that is E. coli, DNA is injected inside the host cell. Now this injected DNA start synthesizing mRNA after two minutes of injecting DNA. Subsequently protein is also synthesized. At six minutes replication of first DNA starts side by side host DNA is degraded by the secretion of nuclease by bacteriophage DNA. At 14 minutes DNA field heads are formed then at 17 minutes complete fudges are formed. At 25 minutes after injecting DNA, mature fudges, about 300 progeny fudges are released after lysis of the cell wall. The cell wall is lysed by an enzyme lysogyne which is secreted by bacteriophage. So this is the life cycle of bacteriophage T4. Then it far, again further infects the other E. coli bacteria. Life cycle of bacteriophage lambda. The lambda fudge, it is enters, it pushes the DNA that is, DNA is normally linear in lambda fudge. When this lambda fudge is enters inside the host cell, it becomes circular form. Now, after entering into the host cell, it follows either lysogenic pathway or lytic pathway. In lysogenic pathway, by site specific recombination lambda fudge DNA it 
recombined with the host DNA and a lambda prophage is formed. This lambda prophage then further replicates and pass on to the other cells. Now in lytic pathway, which is also an important pathway, lytic pathway, lambda DNA, it replicates, then viral assembly, it occurs, host DNA, it is degraded and cell lysis occur by the secretion of lysozyme and mature lambda phage comes out from the host cell. Mechanism of site specific recombination which is very much one of the most important phenomenon in case of lambda bacteriophage. Now linear DNA form of lambda phage it become a circular form after entering into the host cell it has got an important site it is called ATTP that is attachment site P that is fudge attachment site it recombine with a attachment site B of bacterial cell. Now these two sites, attachment site P and attachment site B has an identical sequence that is 15 nucleotide sequence is there which are identical both in at attachment site P and attachment site B. This site that is 15 nucleotide site is located in between the two genes gel and bio, it is galactose and biotin gene. Now this site specific recombination is facilitated by an enzyme it is called lambda integrase. Now this lambda integrase is synthesized or secreted by lambda INTG. After the formation of the prophase the prophase is excised from the host chromosome. Now this excision process is facilitated by lambda integrase and lambda excisase. Now this lambda excisase, this enzyme is secreted by or formed by lambda XIS gene. So with the help of both this enzyme, that is lambda integrase and lambda excisase, the prophage, that is your lambda prophage is excised from the host DNA. Sometimes your abnormal excision occurred as a result of which this prophage lambda chromosome it will carry either galactose genes or biotin genes from the host chromosome and it transfer to the another bacteria. So this is the one of the process by which gene transfer occur from one bacteria to the another bacteria. So this is the one of the important method of gene transfer which takes place with the help of lambda fudge in case of bacteria. Now Andrew Lueff, he was awarded Nobel Prize in 1965 for discovery of lambda prophase, which is one of the landmark work or discovery in bacterial genetics. In this module we have provided key concepts of the module, books for reading, quizzes, and study materials. Thank you for attending our online course.